welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about all the new rose perfumes that have come out recently. I feel like the, all the brands have got together and said, shall we all release rose perfumes in 2020? So um, I've grouped them all together and I'll be going through them in this video for you. If you're new here, then welcome to my channel. It's all about perfumes, as you might have guessed. Then do subscribe. I have so many videos every week. I already have hundreds. So join our little community here and subscribe. And I will be doing more giveaways and things coming up. So be subscribed to look out for them and turn on your notification bell. So let's talk about the probably biggest release of new rosy perfumes at the moment. Miss Dior, Rose and Roses. You guys know I love Miss Dior. I have Miss Dior. I have Miss Dior absolutely blooming. And I have this sample of Miss Dior Rose and Rose. And I keep trying Rose and Rose every time I see it because it's just everywhere, like super promoted. Um, I found this a pretty nice gift. Um, it's an eau de toilette. It's a very, very sparkling and very fresh rose. So imagine going into a florist and smelling a rose. Um, sometimes rose perfume can be associated with a very old-fashioned heavy smell this isn't like that at all they put geranium in which is quite an uplifting floral and as it dries down it becomes quite um, slightly musky as well but overall it's very fresh thing is it's very light and it doesn't last that well like I've most people I know who have bought this have said they don't find it to be lasting that well but it is a really pretty bottle it's a really pretty smell you know the branding and everything is just so lovely so it's one of those I think I've said it before like your heart loves it but your head says um not great value for money but your heart's like but it's so pretty in pink <laughs> So next we have a new one from Mongolan called Bloom of Rose. I just smelled this in an airport. This is much lighter and fresher than the other Mongolans, than the original Mongolan. At first you get a real citrusiness and the rose isn't as dominant as you'd expect with a name like Bloom of Rose. So it's more like a fresh green rose, citrus rose. And um, there is still lavender in here like there is in the others, but it's not heavy. I find these almost like an aromatic perfume, the original. Original, whereas this is definitely a light fresh floral so quite different it has a fair amount of neroli in as well so they all really mix with the rose to dampen down I'd say the the lavender and the rose smell so this is for someone who likes roses but really wants something very fresh next we have the new one from Tom Ford called Rose Prick it comes in a really cute pink um, bottle this is a heavy musky rose it has a lot of pepper in it has patchouli so it's quite oriental it also has turmeric in so when you first smell it I personally get quite a lot of that turmeric and I get pepper and then I get rose so it's a very oriental spicy rose and um, for someone who wants something with a bit of oomph quite a lot of power the kind of thing that people are going to smell on you it was very heavy like you don't need many sprays to be able to really get this fragrance so Good value for money in that sense is you're not having to spray it loads but this is definitely for your heavy perfume people that want rose next there is the new loader izzy which is called rose and rose so not rose and roses like misty or just rose and rose izzy miyaki you know i think they're a really good brand so so fresh and this rose and rose really pretty very very fresh they mixed it with raspberry raspberry is often mixed with rose it, they complement each other and it gives it a a light fresh fruitiness to that rose so i think it makes it very modern raspberry is a very modern scent i think it also has pear in which i love in a perfume i think this could well be my favorite of all these new roses because i just find it very fresh and uplifting a very 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 modern rose which is hard to get I think it's hard to make rose modern but this to me is quite similar to rose and roses from Miss Dior but this is probably better for lasting so next we have Goutal or what used to be called Anit Goutal who have rebranded recently these are a classic French perfumery and they create very um, floral and very green perfumes very well so they have rose pom-pom and this is an eau de parfum and an eau de toilette and they've kind of been relaunched so they're not they've been around for a few years but they've kind of been relaunched and I'm not sure if they've reformulated them now the two are very different the rose pom-pom is a really plummy rose it's a deep black currant rose it's a strong rose um 
I think it's too strong. I personally wouldn't wear this. It's like an almost sickly heavy rose. But the Eau de Toilette version of this is really nice. Blackcurrant raspberry are fresh here and give it a very uplifting scent. And it feels like a modern rose that we've seen from the other perfume houses. So if you're looking for something very classic, very beautiful, um, go for this Rose Pom Pom Eau de Toilette, definitely. It's unusual, not many people will have this. It's very, very classy smell, um, but it's very... I don't know what the word is. It, you, it just feels very French and very um, exquisite and very much like how a perfumery would make this a rose scent. Next we have the Narciso Rodriguez Fleur Masque Eau de Toilette. Eau Floral, it's got the world's longest name. This, um, like the Fleur Masque Eau de Parfum that you already have, is a very musky rose. To be honest, it's not that dissimilar from the Eau de Parfum version, um, but perhaps a little bit lighter and a bit more like zingy. But if you like your musky Narciso Rodriguez powdery almost muskiness, then this is your best bet for a floral musk because these perfumes are so good for lasting. I love Narciso Rodriguez, really good for lasting. And then finally, from Erin, from Estee Lauder, their Wild Geranium, their new new release in the Erin range, is actually a very rosy perfume. So it's, it's bright, fresh geranium, bright, fresh peony, and fresh rose. So it isn't just geranium at all, and um, the name is misleading. It's, if anything, rosy more than anything else so very very fresh uplifting kind of an english country garden rose a very spring rose rather than summer very slightly green very fresh very nice you know I, I, and i think in general a lot of these i'm really impressed with how they've made a rose a modern fresh scent it's something i historically have associated with a bit of an old-fashioned smell but these are all like on the whole very light and fresh and nice so that's it guys, let me know if you've tried any of these or if you've gone for them and let me know what your favourite rose perfume is below in the comments, I'd love to know. But that's it, so thanks for watching, I'll leave the links down below to where you can buy all these and I will see you again in the next video. So bye for now.